Franklin wants to throw. Pressure backside. Steps up. Lofts it. Crossing, pe crossing pattern. Green Beckham leaping grab. Touchdown, Missouri. As he beat Mincy on the coverage, it was just like basketball. Six, six, it was just like basketball. Auburn 59, Mizzou 42. That's Mike Kelly on the call from Saturday night. Good morning, Mike Kelly. Hey. Uh, so much has been said. You were there. You watched the whole thing. What were your thoughts? Better team won, plain yeah. and simple. The better team won, the team that executed uh, the best on the offensive side of the football uh, and got enough stops on the defensive side of the football, won the game. Bottom line. Pinkel was talking about this, this, this scheme. Was it just that that offense is, is the next tick and defenses have to catch up to it? They've done it to everybody. Uh, including uh, including Alabama. Uh, they just are really, really good at what they do from an offensive standpoint, and they've got three guys that are so good in the open field, talking about Marshall, the quarterback, Trey Mason, uh, their running back, and then also um, Grant, the other running back. They're so good at getting into space and real, real difficult to tackle one-on-one -on -one when they get into space. Um, you know, you got to be able to have good gap control. You got to be able to uh, to be able to read the quarterback and and also get off of blocks. And uh, and Missouri had a difficult time doing that the entire day. They it, just they they were out executed. It, it, I mean, it was almost like the old triple option or, or some variation of the, well, the it's triple. Well, a lot of triple option principles. It really does. And uh, you know the. Um, it, 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 it's assignment football, but that's 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 somewhat that's somewhat simplistic too. It's you know with Auburn, one of the things you have to be able to do is you've got to be able to stop the run between the tackle. And you know Missouri had a hard time doing that. Alabama had a hard time doing that. Everybody they've played has had a hard time doing that. And um, they just uh, they're they're one of those teams that if you watch them, they, they've improved steadily each and every week. Um, they've really excelled. With, with their receivers blocking downfield. And Marshall just has gotten better each and every week as the quarterback. And Trey Mason, I mean, he's <laughs> he, he's a great running back, needless to say. Yeah, no. It, but you know what? As bad as it was, Mizzou scored 42 points. So they were they were running with him for a while. Well, and, and, and the offense will tell you that, uh, you know, sometimes you get into those shootouts. And, it, and, and you know what? It's incumbent upon the Missouri offense to execute. And, and I go back to, you know, you can say what you want about, you know, what happened on the on the defensive side. Missouri's offense has got to keep pace. And you can't have four false starts in the second half. Um, you, you got to be able to move the football, and, and, and Missouri didn't do that. And so in the second half when it was critical. And so that's, that's you know, it, it's on both sides of the football is where, where you have to be able to, to execute. And unfortunately, Missouri didn't do that offensively. And, uh you know, the bottom line is is that you lost the game to the better team, a team that I think is going to win the national championship. Yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens in that national championship game. Missouri now going to the Cotton Bowl against Oklahoma State. What are your thoughts on that pick? Well, it's, you know, it's it's one of those traditional rivals that you played back in the Big Eight. And, uh, you know, so there's obviously familiarity. Uh, Mike Gundy is, I think, 3-1 and one against Missouri since he took over as the Oklahoma State coach. Uh, you know, they're 10-2, and two, Missouri's 11-2. I think it's one of the better matchups. Uh, of the bowl schedule, uh, and you know, from a from, from a geographical standpoint, it's it's a, it's a place where Missouri's got a, you know more than twenty players from the state of Texas. Um, you know, it's an area that you recruit quite a bit still. So, uh, and it's an area that where Missouri's got a large alumni base. So, the ability to sell tickets. I mean, they've, they've pre-sold eight thousand tickets for the bowl. They'll they'll be out of their allotment for of uh, more than twelve thousand tickets probably by the middle of the week. So. Um, I was kind of hoping for, for for a BCS game. I mean, you know, they were. Yeah, it the wasn't going to happen once you lost. A, you know, with, with Alabama sitting there with one loss, that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So uh, if you didn't win the game, um, Alabama was going to take that second slot. No, that's too bad. All right. Um, you know what? When it's all said and done, kind of a bummer to end on a downer, but uh, pretty exciting season for the Tigers. Well, you know, you win eleven games, okay, and and you still got a chance to win number twelve, and you play for for a conference championship. So. You know, that doesn't happen all the time. Right. I mean, again, it's a program that hasn't won a conference championship since 1969, so it's not like you've been there every year. So, um, you know, you you, uh, you know, you're blessed to be there, and you, you try to 
fight like heck back there the next year. Yeah. There's no guarantees. Uh, t- quickly, Henry Josie, is he okay? Was he how bad was he hurt on yeah, that one play? He, no, he's good. He got he got banged up. I mean, you know, he took a cheap shot out of bounds. Right. Uh, but you know, he he had some some lingering pain. I saw him last night and talked to him, and um, you know, that's that's the remarkable side of of, of this entire season is, you know, he bypassed 1,000 yards rushing, which is the um, obviously the the milestone that everybody looks to to, to to point to the ability of a running back and uh, for him to do that yeah uh, two years removed from that that, that gruesome knee injury is, is, is quite amazing Mike Kelly I got 30 seconds who's your sponsor Walter no florist they've been operating in St. Louis since the late 1800s they want to be your personal florist they have all the tools and all the expertise to do just that just give them a try all you need to do is go online to wkf.com Walter no florist they'll become your personal florist Mike Kelly uh, great calls Friday Saturday night uh, when's the next basketball game uh, Sunday night Sunday night so Western couple. Michigan all right so you have a couple days to uh, relax and uh, study for finals <laughs> exactly <laughs> Mike Kelly talk to you soon yeah Mike Kelly voice of the Tigers all the call was heard right here on the big 550 KTRS nine o'clock KTRS